Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures of Well, I'm me, uh, and today I'm going to be talking about some of my recent experiences with my PlayStation 5. Um, about two, three months ago, probably, from the time making this video, I uploaded um, a discussion about getting a PlayStation 5, and then I also did a video about uh, getting the Backbone 1 PlayStation Edition and how that was being used. Since then, I've decided I'm going to chuck some videos on this screen, not necessarily related to the game that I'm playing, just some trailers that I actually have um, just connected to uh, <laughs> USB. Um, I'm going to keep this video nice and short because it really is just an update about where I am with my uh, video gaming at the moment because I haven't been posting to the channel like I want to. So, today's video is about, uh, you know, as a teacher, I get to enjoy school holidays and that has meant I've actually had some time to sit down and play some video games. Now, on the screen at the moment I have the Final Fantasy 16 trailer playing because I am really looking forward to that. Um, I've been playing Final Fantasy 14 online a lot. Um, my wife and I have actually just been getting into that at the moment and playing a lot of it. But what I've really been able to experience with the PlayStation 5 at the moment is actually trying to get some Platinums again. Um, so. Over the past two months, I sat down and decided I was going to play through God of War Ragnarok and that I was going to play through uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, previously, God of War 2018 and the Spider-Man game on the PlayStation 4, I actually achieved Platinum on both of those games because I loved them so much. Guess what? I got Platinums on both God of War Ragnarok and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, there's two very different reasons why I was able to sit through and play and enjoy those games to the extent that I did. With God of War, I was really wrapped up in the storytelling. I found that it was really emotional and connecting uh, through use of the music, the storytelling, the setting, and I've really invested myself in the God of War franchise, and I was just dying to play it on a new system. Um, that being said, there were some moments where I felt, okay, this really is set up still to load for a PlayStation 4, it's not loading as fast as it should, but that aside, it was still really fast and engaging for the game that it was, and the best part about it is I felt like while I was playing the game, I was seamlessly going from gameplay through to a cutscene, and then from a cutscene back to the game. So I really, really, really enjoyed playing God of War Ragnarok. I finished the main story and you unlock the bonus things past finishing the story which enable you to finish off the sort of version of Valkyries in this which is Berserkers. You get to go through and fight um, other sort of secret bosses along the way and then I was able to go and finish my collections as well. I really enjoyed that game. There were some challenges in it. I loved the characters, the acting. It was amazing in my opinion. Loved it. So I was able to sit through and play to get the Platinum. Uh, like I said, some moments I felt like it was being developed for the PlayStation 4 just to accommodate for loading, but I was still able to get through and it still felt fast enough. I, um, I loved sitting there playing that. I couldn't wait each day to get up and play it or sort of the last few days of work for the year, I was able to come home and go, all right, I'm gonna sit and play this. Um, so that was great. Now, I don't have a disc copy to show you the game because I have a digital download, um, and yeah, that's also the money for the next thing. Um, I actually gave my brother uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PlayStation 5 for Christmas. Now, he got a PlayStation 5 for Christmas, super lucky for him, um, and the reason why I ended up with God of War Ragnarok was they had the God of War PlayStation bundle, and I paid for the God of War game to my parents and they paid for the rest of the console, sort of alleviated some of that price and enabled them to get that console. So that was how I ended up getting God of War. Miles Morales is a different story. That was a PlayStation Plus uh, subscription game. So I'm a PlayStation Plus subscriber and I have been for quite some time. I really enjoy being able to go into the catalog and download those games each, uh, each month. Um, also using the online features for multiplayer and that. Now, when the new tier system came out, I started with the Essentials tier, and then, like, that was an automatic conversion, so I ended up paying for the um, Deluxe tier when that sort of new system came out, just because I got it sort of discounted at the time. Um, now, in saying that, I don't think it's necessarily worth it for everyone. 
What I personally do is I have my sort of auto renewal for 12 months. It's around the time of Black Friday. So I either cancel the subscription and wait for it to come back on sale for Black Friday just to save that percentage and I end up buying a higher tier for the sort of the price I would pay for a lower tier. That's how I manage my PlayStation Plus subscription. Now, because I've got PlayStation Plus and I'm not on the base tier, I was able to access the catalogue and I saw they had Miles Morales on there. So I thought, I'm going to give this a shot. Um, I saw my brother playing it after I gave it to him for Christmas and he absolutely loved it. So I was like, yeah, while he's playing it, I'm going to jump on and play it as well. I flew through that story, even getting 100% for each region in the game, doing all the little unlockables. Finished that 100%, got to the end and went, I have 10 trophies left to get. Four or five of those trophies were literally for just playing New Game Plus. So I was sort of playing New Game Plus, and literally 10 minutes before I started videoing this uh, segment for you, I finished playing Miles Morales and got the Platinum Trophy. Um, the other parts in that literally came down to the fact that there was a lot of collecting, and I sort of did it as I went through, and I was able to sort of get through it really quickly. So that worked out really well for me. Um, the reason why I was able to go back-to-back -back Platinum Trophies with the games that I'm playing was because Miles Morales was a shorter game. So where I spent sort of 50-60 hours on God of War, I spent maybe 20-25 hours in total on Miles Morales. I played it over two weeks. I played it from Christmas to the week following uh, New Year's. So for me, that was like the perfect amount of time to follow up and complete a game. It's set up really easily. You mainly get trophies from completing the story or doing little collections and getting 100%. I had to replay two missions on my first playthrough, got to New Game Plus. Really, it was just getting those unlockables, leveling up, unlocking the last few Spider-Man suits and things like that to get those trophies. So it was actually really enjoyable. Um, very similar to the first Spider-Man game, lots of fun action combat going on, and it is just really easy sort of to engage with. Um, different reasons compared to my my reason for playing God of War Ragnarok. Playing Spider-Man, I actually just enjoy sort of like that fast-paced flowing combat, the swinging, the superhero aspect. And one thing that really, you know, blows me away is the detail to the voice acting in that game. You've got Spider-Man swinging around, and when he's swinging or running, he's panting more than he is just speaking normally, and he sort of yells louder than he is when he's just standing there doing nothing. And that sort of dynamics really encapsulates sort of what I feel towards gaming. If you can engage me in these little details, I'm going to enjoy most of the game because of those details that they put into it. So I absolutely loved playing Spider-Man because of that. So that brings me sort of to the wrap up of the two games I've been playing. Um, I'm not sure if I've put footage over the top of this for those games or if I'm just letting these trailers run even though there's poor lighting in here. I'm getting to that. I'm still sorting out this room. I've been working on the garden. There'll be lighting soon. Um, but that sort of brings me to what follows with what I'm wanting to do either for myself or for the channel. I'm obviously wanting to play more games and sort of give you a bit of a review, but I feel like giving these sort of quick, I played this game, this is what I thought in a couple minutes, is more my style of video and gameplay. Very raw editing, I don't want to put a lot of, um, you know, grabby cutscene jumps and this and that, like, here's this cutscene, here's this gameplay, here's this voice acting part. I want to be more authentic, and for me, that is just talking to the camera and maybe playing something on the TV here. Now, this is a very arbitrary system. I tried just putting a video into a USB and into the TV, but turns out this TV sucks and will not accept any of those video formats on my USB. So I have my PlayStation 3 here and I have the video set up in the PlayStation 3 via USB. Stupid, I know. I will get some better lighting in here at some point, whether it's lighting along the sides, on the back here, just to sort of balance the levels a bit, but I promise I'll get there. And I kind of just want to deliver sort of a piece to camera like this. Less editing uh, on my behalf because I get caught up with that schoolwork based thing. Planning, teaching, late night meetings, things like that before I get home. Traffic, roadworks going on. Plus I'm trying to manage landscaping on my house and I've like decided I actually just want to talk to you guys. That's something I like. So as I'm developing my setup, as I'm doing different things, you'll see sort of changes around here, but I want to try and do this, uh, talking to you guys this way for a bit and seeing how that goes. 
I'll continue updating on uh, my uh, miniature model painting as I go as well, so you'll see some of that. Um, as for what I'm going to be playing next, Hogwarts Legacy is coming out, this is a trailer for that, um, in just a couple weeks, and my wife is hanging out to get that game, and I will probably be playing some of this on the PlayStation 5 as well. Um, what else will I be playing? I'm looking at getting uh, Crisis Court Reunion, um, because that came out in December. I held off buying it in case someone gave it to me for Christmas. Um, but uh, in saying that, I decided that I'm going to buy it now, because no one gave it to me for Christmas, they gave me other things instead, which is great, because I didn't want to feel like they had to buy me something and expect that they knew I wanted that. So, all good. Anyway, um, that pretty much wraps up this video. I'm going to play Crisis Core Reunion, I'm going to play a bit of Hogwarts Legacy when it comes out, and pff, in six months' time, Final Fantasy 16, and I am hanging out for that. So, uh, until then, I'll probably be caught up with Final Fantasy 14 online. I feel like I should find a new franchise to be obsessed with, but I'm sorry, it's always going to be Final Fantasy. Um, so, deal with it. Until then, I'll catch you next time.